Hello, 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 everyone. How are you guys? I hope you guys are joining me today. For the next half an hour, 40 minutes, we're going to be talking about what we love the most. Beauty. Yes, I'm Gabriel Samra, celebrity hairstylist and Wella Color Charm brand ambassador. Very proud to be the ambassador because I've been working with the brand for about three years and I am very excited to join, to actually share with you all the secrets, all the technique, everything that I know about creating a beautiful blonde. Actually, we call this blonde, especially for you guys, a hybrid balayage. It's called high definition blonde. Yes, we have a beautiful mannequin here for you guys, yes. So I'm gonna give you about two to three minutes to start joining the conversation, the Facebook Live. We all know here that uh, we're professional hairstylists. We know about coloring. We know about uh, formula. We know about bleaching. And this is exactly what I'm, I'm gonna be doing all day. For the people who does not speak English, I hablo español. <laughs> También hablo español. Así que para los que quieran comentar y estar pendiente de todo lo que estamos haciendo, pueden preguntar en español. Yes, I just said that I speak Spanish, basically. <laughs> and then you guys could ask whatever you want. I'll be here sharing everything, everything that I know. This is how I do it in every workshop or every seminar of balayage that I do around the country. So I'll share everything that I know so you could be a better professional. Um, you're gonna be trendy on the techniques. You're gonna know everything. And the best part is that you're gonna use the best product that you can get easy, easy at marlowbeauty.com, which is the obviously the proud sponsor today of this video. And I know everybody's logging in right now and joining the conversation. So I wanna see uh, who is joining, who is there watching. By the way, I need to introduce one of the most important person today, which is my beautiful friend, hairstylist, professional hairstylist, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi everyone. Yes, that's her voice. Yes. <laughs> so Wendy's gonna be reading all the conversation, all the questions that you guys have. You have to ask. I don't want to do this video alone. I don't like doing videos alone. I don't. I just. It's not me. I wanna, you know, join this conversation with you. I want to give you all the details. So I need you to have a feedback. You know, all the questions. No question is dumb. Any question is valuable. So whatever you need to know, just ask me. Or if you want to just add something to the conversation, it's always valuable and it's very important for me because I'll give you a technique, yes, which is a technique that works for me. But then maybe something that you know might work as well. So share it with us. It's very important. Share all the experience that you guys have had before with Marlo Beauty getting all the products, which is very important to for the, the team of Marlo Beauty know what's going on, if you guys are happy with everything that we've been doing. So very important um, to know that. Please join us. Is there anything, Wendy, that I need to know so far? I'm gonna, Wendy's this side of, of the studio. So that's why I need to turn like that because they told me not to turn this way because I have a TV. So I, they, they, they told me at the beginning, you need to talk to this camera. So I will do that the next half an hour, but then I need to turn to Wendy because it's kind of weird to talk like, hey, Wendy, but Wendy's this side. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what's up, Wendy? What's up? Well, right now we just have people from Mississippi, Michigan, Woo! Florida, Texas, yes. Palm Beach. Yes, who's? North, North yes. Dakota, my, so, my town, San Diego. Pennsylvania, nice. Iowa, Minnesota, so from everywhere, they're just tuning in. Nice. Welcome. Welcome to this amazing Facebook Live. I know you guys are going to have a blast. I know you guys are going to learn a lot with me. I'm sure you're going to love my technique because I'm telling you, this is what I, I call, Wendy, I call my technique, it's, it's called, I mean, we, ca we call it high definition blonde, but honestly, it's a very commercial blonde. That means... Whatever you're going to learn today is basically what every client that sits in your chair are going to ask you. 
Okay. And not only you're gonna know what product I use to line her hair, I mean, not, I mean, yes, yeah, yes, but also to another person that I've been doing the whole day and prepping for you guys so you could see, you guys are gonna know the most important thing is what toning I'm using to get the final look. You guys are professional like me. You guys know that you could do a beautiful highlight. Yes, you could do whatever technique you want. Yes, but if you don't tone it, right, you can screw your work. It's not gonna work, it's, gonna not, it's not gonna look nice, so the final look is gonna go straight to the garbage. It's not gonna work nice. So, you know, you need to know what color of formula you need to use, um, and that's why we're doing the Facebook Live today, because we're gonna be talking about color tango. Is anyone, does anyone have tried already color tango? Wendy, is anybody talking about color tango? So far, not yet, but... I need to know if they're, if they're using it already. Well, it's people want to know where you're from. Where mm. are you from, Gabriel? Where I'm from? Where, where, Wendy, where do you think I'm from? Because I already know the answer. No, 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 let them, let them answer. Let so them answer. Come on. They're Come guessing, on. they're guessing. I have my, I have my accent and I love my accent. Well, so where do you guys I'm from? Where do you think I'm from? Come on. I mean, I live and I work and I do all my beautiful job in the city of Miami. And then I've been living in the United States for almost 20 years. But originally, I was born in South America, in Venezuela, and my background is all Lebanese. So yes, Lebanese eyes, Lebanese hair, Spanish accent, <laughs> living in Miami, very hot and sexy. Yes, yes, yes. We do a lot of highlights over there, by the way. Right, Wendy? Oh, yeah. Miami is highlight city, right? Yes, yes, it is. Well, to answer one of your previous questions, Shauna Campbell loves the lavender toner. Oh. So I think we have a color charm user over here. Yes, yes, yes. Color tango. Yes, the lavender is one of the favorite color, I believe, um, because it, it has that ashy undertone that helps neutralize that yellow tone that Latinas normally get after bleaching. Yes, lavender eyes is a top, top color. It's, it's honestly one of my favorite, Wendy, right? Yeah, that's, that's my favorite toner right? too. All right, so here I have this mannequin and I'm gonna be doing um, a couple of things. On this side of the head, I'm gonna be doing highlights, foiled highlights, like baby lights to create dimension in the hair combined with traditional teasing balayage technique. So for the highlights, I'm gonna use the, um, um, the Wella Color Charm powder liner. And um, this powder liner, it's a white powder that gives you up to seven level of lifting and it helps to create a very um, high dimension contrast um, light. Um, also, control um, reliable lightning action. Um, it helps to, to manage well the, the product. It doesn't, it doesn't lift, it doesn't get puffy, so it doesn't go through the foil and damage all the scalp which normally happens with a lot of linings, so we need to be careful on how we place it. But normally, this is how I use it. I mix a scoop of uh, the powder with um, double of scoop with the developer. On the model, I use 20 developer, and, um, and I created um, almost seven level, yeah, seven level of lifting, which is perfect for the final look that I needed to create. And um, basically, we need to use this. In, I mean, as soon as you, we, we mix it, we need to start put it in the hair to start bleaching. And normally it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to lift the color. It's very reliable. It's very easy to use. Um, 
it doesn't damage the hair at all. You can, uh, you can use it, you know, on dark hair, natural dark hair. And remember, it's gonna light up, uh, light up about seven level. So if you're looking to do, this is my, one of my secrets. If you're looking to do, if you're dark hair, if you're Latina and you have naturally dark hair, like up to level um, three or four, and you want to lift to a very light, light blonde, I totally recommend using this lightener with 30 volume instead of 20. That 30 volume is gonna help you not only lift the color a little bit faster, it also helps you go that extra after seven levels, that a little bit extra. And, um, and it's gonna be bleached, you know, processed much faster than 20 volume. Um, hey Gabriel. Yes. Could you turn the mannequin head a little bit? People want to see your highlighting a little bit better. Let me turn like left, right? It would be like more like. Yeah, perfect. More like this, maybe? I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> yeah, something like this, maybe? Yeah, that looks, yeah, right? that looks better. All right. So I wanted just to show you how I place it on the side. But normally, for the money piece, famous money piece, this is how I do it. So I create um, baby lights, but very, um, I wanna say, it's kinda like very together. Like normally baby lights are done this way, like very separate, very defined, right Wendy? Like something like this, normally are done like that. I like to do the baby lights very consecutive and together like this so I can create even more light around that area. So it's more like this. Could you, could you guys tell? See, I'm gonna place the foil right there so you can see the definition of the highlight, how I created it, just like that, see? Gabriel. Yes. For this technique, Carrie wants to know if you have a specific sectioning that you like to use. I do normally Thank you for the question. I normally do two on the sides, front sides, and then one in the back, a whole piece in the back. So I go around the back using only teasing technique, and then the front part, I use all the contour area with baby lights, and then work the back of the, the hair in the front with teasing technique. That's how I normally do. So I create all the um, light and, and you know, more light of the blonde in the front area, specifically. Any other question, Wendy? Shauna. Shauna wants to know that she notices that you're using a mannequin with light hair, but what about a darker base? I know you touched on it a little bit. I just, yeah, exactly. I was just talking about it. That's right. It is, it is you know, it is useful. I mean, it's totally valid. I, I, I'm using on this mannequin right now, but you guys are going to see right after this, a real model, like a real person, a beautiful girl with a dark base, level four, and I light it up to a level eight. So you have to wait about five minutes, four to five minutes, so I can show you exactly how she came in and then how she came out with the color. So yes, it is, um, it is a product that could be used on um, dark hair, specifically Latinas are very, um, I'm very proud to use this product on her, on them, because I actually lift the color that I need, which is that honey, beautiful. Um, for those who just turn in uh, the Facebook Live, I'm Gabriel Samra. How are you guys? <laughs> uh, I've been uh, talking about the technique that I did today to a beautiful model, um, the highlight technique uh, to create a high definition blonde. And we're talking about the contour part, the, the money piece area, how I created that look with the two different um, liners. So basically, I'm using the Wella Color Charm 
powder liner to create the baby lights and it's um, used with foils, with foils, which is very important. Otherwise, you won't get the color that you want. Yes. Um, also, also for those who are asking, okay, how I can use this on balayage? Yes, you can. You can use the foils to create balayage and the same powder. And if you don't want to, if you don't need um, a very light color that you're looking for, you can use the other powder. I'm gonna bring actually the two powders to the front so I'm very like um, handy with them so you can actually see it. So this is the difference. The one that I'm using right now with the foil is this one. Yes, you can get it on marlowebeauty.com. Yes, it's easy. They ship it nationwide and literally, like what, in two days, you get it there? It's, it's easy. You can buy um, all the powders that you need, like very affordable price. You can get the color tango toners as well. And this is our beautiful baby. Yes, Balayage. Yes, that's the name right here, Balayage. Yes, you got it, right? Yes, this is our favorite word, Balayage. This is the new trend. This is what's going on right now. You want to be a trendsetter, you want to be on Instagram, you want to be on a popular page of Instagram, like those popular hairstylist page, well, you need to start creating balayage. And this is the tool that you need. And yes, you can get it at marlowebeauty.com. That simple. That simple. You don't have to move around, walk around, or go to a store. Just go online, order it, and then you get it right there in your home. Or whatever address you need to ship. That's it, it's so easy. So this is what I'm using right now to create the foils. And basically I'm doing the contour. I'm on placing, I'm placing three foils, three foils, consecutive three foils. And then with the baby light technique, remember this is how I do it. I do it very quick, very tight together so I can create more light more light around this area. And uh, I'm gonna show you on the other side of the mannequin how I create balayage with the painting, with this one, with this one, with painting, color charm painting balayage, which the difference between this one and the, the one that I'm using right now is that that one, you don't need foils. It's clay-based, you know, product. Uh, it doesn't, the, the rest of the hair that is not being touched doesn't get any color. It doesn't um, lift anything around. It's just the hair that is being touched with the product. We all know we're a professional. We know how to use this. We need to create a um, dimension, you know, with the process of it and with the technique that we're using. So basically, Gabriel. This is what I did. Yes, Wendy. <laughs> How many? I love when you call <laughs> me. So that means people are engaging. Yes, I need to hear from you guys. I need to hear any questions you might have so I can give you all the answers. Yeah. So how many levels of lifting does painting give you? Excellent question. Excellent question. I was going to talk about it right now because I'm going to work on this side of the mannequin right now. Yes. The, the difference between the level of lifting between the two products is that the first one, it can lift up to seven levels. The other one, it lifts about three, four, maybe five, maybe five levels. It will all depend on how much amount of hair you use to, with product, that's one. Uh, we all professionals and we all know that the temperature of the room might affect the final result. So if you're in a very cold room, it might not lift a lot. So we need to have um, very not warm, but very like natural like area. So it's not as cold, it's not super warm. If you have a sunny day, you can just take it out. <laughs> That's how I do it in Miami, believe it or not, Wendy. We have that beautiful sun in Miami. 
I'll take them out maybe 15 minutes so they could get warm. You know, that natural warm, it helps to lift the color. Um, and if you're in Boston or New York, uh, sorry. <laughs> That's pretty cold over there, right? Um, we, we have um, two questions that kind of go hand in hand. Yes. So the first one is, oh, one second. I lost it. Oh, no. Oh, so how do the money piece foils look when the hair is pulled back or up? A lot of younger clients are always so concerned about what the hair, uh, when it's blonde, looks like when it's pulled back. That is such an amazing question because every, every girl that sits on my chair asks me the same question. They tell me, is that money piece is going to look like, a, did I have like a line here and it's going to look awful like a tiger or zebra? No. No, there's a technique for that. And this is how you create this. So if you notice in the front part, before I started with the first foil, do you notice that I left this hair here? Yes, this hair that I left is gonna give you a natural shadow. But yes, you might be having this question in your mind right now. So if I lift this highlight, and if I leave this hair without touching, it might look like regular highlight. It's not gonna look like a money piece. So what we're doing with this hair is basically we're teasing the hair and then we're painting the rest of the hair. So yes, I was gonna show you first on this side how I paint so I don't have the folio so you can be more clear how I do it. But yes, here I'm gonna show you actually let me go to the side. Let me turn her head. Are you guys there good? Can you see the, the mannequin? Yeah, the mannequin, the mannequin the looks part? great. Awesome. Okay. So, yes, I tease about two times from the middle and one from the bottom. And this is how I do it. If we're using the whole head with the Wella Color Charm powder lightning you need to place this hold on okay now you need to start painting here and then all the way down and then start painting close to the roots like this and create contrast and blending color see you either do it with the foil or you can do the same effect with the Color Charm painting powder. So you can create that. Now in between baby lights, in between baby lights, there is hair. Here, there's hair. You see this? That hair, you don't leave it like that. You do the same thing. You tease twice. And then you grab the hair and you paint it. There you go. You paint it here. And then eventually, after three or four times, you do this around the perimeter of the face, around the front part, you are going to get a beautiful money piece. See, look at that. You paint, you blend with the color. You make sure you saturate the product so everything lifts perfect. Very important saturation of product. See, now you do the highlight and then you do another baby light and then you have a hair in the middle. Guess what do you do with this hair, Wendy? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yes, you tease it. I <laughs> You tease it and then you paint it, obviously. Having that three baby lights and three T's highlights is gonna give you a nice money piece part of the hair. So we, let's do the- We have a really good question here from Shauna. So would you use the clay based on dark hair? And if so, would you also use foils? Uh, uh, can you- Repeat the question? Yes, please. Would you use the clay base on dark hair? So the um, the painting balayage lightener, would you use that on dark hair or or 
and can you use it in foils? Actually, the painting is not created to use it with foils. It's, it's um, created to use like an air libre, like hand, like natural painting without the foils. Yes, I will use it on dark hair as well. But remember, I, I was talking about the benefits of it and what exactly the lift that gives you. So it, it gives you about three to four, maybe five levels of lift. So if you're not looking to be super blonde or like very like high contrast between the dark and the blonde, I don't recommend to use this. I recommend to use this one, this one, eh, that one. Yes, right here. I needed to see the TV, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, this one. So to get those level of lifting, so if you're okay to have that soft honey caramel you know color around it definitely go for it this is the product you need this is the product you see a number one i actually i'm looking at the number one and i forgot to tell you about this you see the number one yeah it's easy you have a number one and then you mix it with a number two here where is it here there you go, that simple. And if you're asking yourself, what is that? Yes, this is the developer. So it's super simple. You need to get the number one, the number two, mix it together. I usually do one and two. I mean, one ounce will be two ounces of this. I'll mix it together and then I'll get that clay base um, consistency of the product. I don't know if you guys could see this. See, it's hard. It's a hard product. So that way we, we can work all around it and it doesn't um, damage the rest of the hair that is not being touched with the product that we need, like with the dark pieces. So basically, if you're asking yourself what kind of volume is the number two, it's a 30 volume. It's 30 volume. So you can go easy with this and it's gonna lift very nice four to five levels. Um, with, with this product, I personally, I'm a big fan of teasing. I'm a super fan of teasing. Yes, if you don't like te to tease your hair or the hair, it's okay. You can just, you know, place the product in the hair without teasing. You just need to be very um, subtle and know how to work the brush and get the right... Um, I wanna say design in the hair, so you don't have any harsh line or any demarcation on the hair. So yeah, I personally, I'm a big fan of teasing, so I'll do like one or two, and then I'll use the product on this, and then I start painting. I start always from the middle of the hair, go all the way down, make sure to saturate the, the product here, and then diagonal brush like this, you go all the way up like that and start painting. So I guess we're having new people turning in right now. Hi, I'm Gabriel Samra. There's a lot of people <laughs> tuning in right yeah, now. Yeah, right? We have yes. um, Carrie with a question. Yes, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie would like to know if, would you always suggest using a clay-based lightener while free painting? Totally. Totally. I do not recommend to use the powder lightener to use it, this technique, because it might, it might uh, damage the hair not damage, that's not the word. It might lift the hair that is not being touched. So if you would like to have contrast in the hair, it's like this. I, can I have a towel? Is there a towel handy? Um, if, um, if like this, see, I, I started it here. Thank you. So if I started it, um, the first section diagonal like this, and then I did a zigzag, so what I do after this, I, I leave, it, I, I, I need to turn it around, right, a little bit? It's okay, you can do the tripod too. Yeah. Oh yeah, perfect, thank you. There you go, that's easier. Can you see there? You, is everybody seeing there? Yes. Awesome. 
So you see this zigzag section? That's how I start my contour on the side. So what I do next, I leave some hair like this, leave it without touching it. That hair is gonna give me contrast. We need contrast, otherwise she's gonna be super blonde unless that's the final look you want, right? And then after the second section that I do to leave, I do another zigzag, look at this, another zigzag, and that's the hair I'm painting now. This is how I do it. So this hair that I'm painting, I'm teasing one, I'm teasing two. There you go. If you tease more hair, basically you're gonna have darker contrast around here. I want to have around the face lighter pieces than the one in the back. That's how we need it, to have that beautiful contrast. So twice I tease and then I go and start painting from the middle section, grab it, start painting all the way down, make sure to saturate, top part, bottom part, I'm ready here and now diagonal brush like this and start painting all the way up. Look at this, easy. In order for you to get this technique, you need um, a clay base lightener, otherwise it's gonna be a disaster. You guys are gonna have a big disaster result. It's not gonna work correctly. So see, this, this is what I mean. Like this hair's done, this hair's gonna fall on top of the one that we're not touching. You need that product for you not to have this messed up. Because what we're doing next is we're gonna do another subsection, a line like the one that I did before, and then we're gonna leave that hair without touching. See, look at this. Here we go, we live down, we don't touch, and then we go again and repeat it. Here. Is everybody, is everybody like understanding what's going on? Uh, do, uh, do we have like new people signing in and we, watching that have actually, any question of what I said before? We have uh, actually two questions that I wanted to ask you. Yes. So Shauna, our superstar here, <laughs> is asking, if would you separate the sections with plastic? And uh, we have another question, Aradna. She says, um, do you recommend always taking a zigzag section? Yes, I do recommend taking the zigzag question. That way you are avoiding having any harsh line. That makes, it, that makes a result, a very natural result. Um, by zigzagging the hair to, to light up. Uh, the first question about the paper, yes, you can use it. If you feel like you want to use this technique and try to lift it as much as you can, you can use it. You know, you don't need it to protect, but you might need it to give it some heat, you know, for to get like a... Um, a high level of the blonde, or oh, as much as we could go. So can you see there? This is what I did to the model in between the foils to create the high definition look around her face. In the back, I only teased. That's it, I only did this. I zigzag, tease, paint, line, let it down, not touched and I'm ready to show you the girls. Are we ready? Yes, we are, right? Okay, so why don't we put the before pictures? I have the front and back, and I want you guys to see the before of the model so you can see what I created on her all day with this amazing product, which I'm very happy and proud to talk about because the results are always good, perfect. It's, it's how I like it. So 
you have the before pictures right there. That's the front one. And then we have a back picture as well, I think. There you go. So you see she hasn't um, touched her hair for about eight months. So that is a natural l l four level of her hair on the top and then old highlights and the bottom, like all the way to the ends. So I, you guys need to be ready because she's actually sitting in front of me ready to rock this new look. There you go. Come on, where are the applauses? Yeah! <laughs> yes, yes. I, got, I hope you guys are clapping as well at home watching this video. Yes, it is, it's a beautiful look. I created this gorgeous contrast in her hair. As I said, um, the back is only teased and then the front, look at that beautiful blending blonde all the way up. You don't see any harsh line, any line that, any demarcation that you normally get if you don't do the right technique. And then the gorgeous money piece, look at this. Everyone on the comments are going nuts yes, over yes, this yes, after. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Jeffrey says, all the claps. Yes, I love you, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes. So we started, to be honest, we started at 10 in the morning, um, sectioning, prepping the hair. Um, I started in the back, and then I did the front part. But I want to tell you something about what I did to her. Today, Specifically today, because I knew I was like on time and I had schedule on time, I need to make sure on um, the, to lift the color that I wanted. So as I said at the beginning, for those who just turn in, as I said at the beginning, the difference between um, the, the painting and the powder liner here, the difference is that this you get up to four, five levels. This you can get seven, maybe a little more. So I had to work today only with this one, with this powder, because I, obviously I was running on time. I had very scheduled time to create this looks for you guys today. So um, I used uh, 20 volume on her and it lifted perfect, perfect, as you can see. And then, what everybody's asking right now is, what toner did you use on her? That is so funny, because that's what everyone is actually of asking course, right now. Of course, that's like the main question. I created this beautiful look, but without the toner, I'm telling you, I won't get this gorgeous, gorgeous final look. So yes. I'm gonna share, Wendy, I'm gonna share the toner. I'm gonna share the formula that I did. We are professionals, we all know what to use in these cases, the what level we need to go, but I am not telling you right now. Why? Because I'm gonna have you, each of you, guessing what formula of the four color tango toner I used on her. Come on, you guys are professional and you guys are creative. And I love creative people. So you know that every day when we tone the hair, we can use one toner, we can use two different toners. We can either use three different toners to create our touch and our signature look. So this is one of my signature look. I don't know what I use, I just forgot. I don't know, I need you to remind me, honestly. So start, tick, 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 typing, 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 your number. Um, by the way, if, you're, if you know the color tango toners, start typing the names or the number if you know them. And if you don't know them, I'm gonna introduce you to the four different shades. I'm gonna ask you, beautiful Valentina. Her name is Valentina. Hola. Beautiful. Hola. I'm gonna ask you to 
move to the side because I'm going to introduce four different models that I have here in the back waiting for her to be in the front too. <laughs> Thank you, Valentina. She looks amazing. Wow. Okay. I have four mannequins here in the back. I have these two that I'm going to be talking about here. Do we have it correct? Are they correct? Yeah. All right, thank you, thank you. So I believe that there on your screen, on your phone, on your computer, you guys are actually looking the right shade of this color. Are they guessing if they are ashy tones or warm tones? Well, here our viewers are experts they know the color term toner some of them are guessing 27 like ct27 someone said cafe au lait mm -hmm. someone said that if you used all four so we have um pretty good guesses here yes because everybody who is watching are a big fan of marlo beauty they're professionals and that's what i love the most i love teaching professionals because you know how to take care of the hair you know how to use the best product this is what I love to teach so yes I have two shades here two shades in the back these shades in the front are as you see I don't know if you can see honestly right there but here with the light it's perfect the color and the shade and these are ashy tones so color tango has four different shades it's easy Two ash, two warms. That simple. Two ash and two warm. The ash have two different names. This one, it's called Lavender Eyes. Yes, it's, um, it has that violet under pigment that neutralizes that yellowish color when you lift it with the, with the bleach, and it gives you that beautiful tone. This was created by the beautiful Wendy today she bleached the hair and then she applied the toner. She left it for about 20 minutes and then rinse and get it ready for you guys so you can see it. Uh, the mixing radio is one, one, very easy. You use it with the developer that comes with it. And then um, the cream base about this product. It's such a creamy base easy to apply um simple if you're a professional you're gonna love it because obviously it's so easy to work on your client's hair and if you're watching and you might not be a professional and you might want to try it at home super simple super super simple the way that the the texture of the product when you mix it it's so perfect and so easy to apply that you could do it at home if you are a risky girl and you want to try it, awesome. And if you're a professional, obviously, it's going to be much easier. This is how I work every day. I work with cream-based product. It's much easy to apply. It's much, easy, it's much easy to take it all the way down to the end. So but for the people that are asking about this one, this mannequin, this is the Champagne Blonde. Champagne Blonde. Yes, squeeze it, right? Look at this, look at this shade. This is perfect. There's no warm tones. For those girls that are crazy about the ashy tone without being extremely too ashy, this is the right, the right shade. This is the one. It's beigey, it's beautiful. It gives you that nice ashy tone we got without going too ashy. So we have the two um cool colors now i'm gonna introduce you to the oh i'm gonna leave them here right can i leave them here yeah. so we can see the four of them together after yeah. yes so you guys wait there i'm gonna bring you the warm ones warm ones yes 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 uh i have them here you guys guide me if they're okay there yeah, yeah. awesome look at this look at this beautiful warm this is what i call warm yes it's not yellow it's not you know the ugly gold uh, egg yellow type of highlights um you know we latinas 
usually when they uh, highlight their hair, that they get that ugly orange oxidized um, highlight. There's no way around it. Uh, there's right. There's no way around. This is that's our nature. This is the color that you get after after highlight. So if you are a warm girl and you like those shades you need to try these two colors this one is cafe ole which is a beautiful name i love that name cafe ole so when you're like sitting with your friends you're like oh yeah cafe ole my hair beautiful a nice cup of coffee yes right right it's beautiful and then it neutralizes perfect the yellow tones and it gives you that nice warm color so perfect and this is creme boule this is a beautiful color a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Creme Boulet um, helps you to create this warm um, shade without going to yellow. So yes, you have the four different shades that you can get right now. I mean, not right now, no, 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 no. Wait until we finish. When we finish, you go to marlowbeauty.com and you order, if I were you, I would order like 10 of each, 10 easy because they're gonna be sold out in like the next hour <laughs> literally so 10 of each you order the, the the bleach the painting one the powder liner perfect to work and get the perfect highlight and um, I present you the four different shades any question any comment I want to hear what's going on there behind the screen come on I have a really good question uh, Vonda was asking with the technique that you presented, would you use that same technique on extremely curly hair? Yes, of course. Actually, let me bring the model back so I can talk about it. Valentina, you can, you can just stand right here next to me. Thank you, Valentina. Yes, that's a good question. I love those questions. The way I work on curly hair is same technique, yes, but I do two little things to create the look. First, I don't work on curly hair. So what I do is like I blow dry the hair, like all the way, you know, the whole hair completely, I blow dry it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but like a nice blowout. And then after it's blow dry, I do the same sectioning. I do the same technique. The only difference is do you remember the baby lights that I did to create the high definition blonde? That baby light on naturally curly hair and girls that like to wear it curly, I make them thicker, thicker pieces. So let me uh, bring this so I can show you what I mean with thicker pieces. Can you grab this Valentina for me? Awesome, thank you. So with Valentina, as I said, we were doing baby lights like this. Very thin, together, fast, like this, see? Can you guys see it? Let me, maybe putting a paper might help. Let me see. Here, with the paper you can see the contrast, right there. There you go. See, very small, together. That's how I created Valentina's highlight. So for curly hair, what I do with curly hair, I grab the same amount of hair, but when I am going to section it, I will do it thicker pieces. What I mean with thicker pieces, it's something like this. So they're like section in thicker places, and you can see it's like not like 20. They're like one, two, three and four. Why thicker pieces? Because when they wear, when girls wear curly hair, those thick pieces are gonna be shown more. If you make them too thin, it might look, it might get lost, you know, in the curls. So you're not gonna have a very high def highlights. So any other question, any other comment? Before I leave? <laughs> Before you leave, the last last uh, question would be, um, how light does the hair have to be to apply the color tango toners? How light? That I mean, 
you guys are professional. You know how light you want to take it. So basically, I took uh, Valentina's uh, hair to a level eight. So this is the result that I got. So if you take it to a level six, you might get, with the same formula, you might get the same result, but darker. That's it. So it's, it's up to you. It's you make the call, the final call. So we're almost about to wrap up today, but I ask you if you can guess her formula. Do we have any comments about that? Any numbers? Uh, we have a lot of guesses. Come on, tell me. I so want to hear it. Here we go. Here we go. So we have creme brulee. Um, somewhat, oh, I have to go back. Some keep, people keep saying all four. Some say lavender. Some say that you mix the warm and ash. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stephanie H. Gonzalez. I like the warm and I ash. Don't yeah, know. what else? <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. Like, a lot of people are saying number 27, or if we use all four. Those are the top uh, answers so far. Okay. Oh, Betsy. So we normally... Betsy says creme brulee and a violet shade. So Yes! Who said that? Her, Betsy. Betsy! Yes! You got it, baby. Yes, you got it. I actually did that. I created a beautiful final look with toners, creme brulee, and lavender eyes. Yes. You um, got it, Well, Betsy, Betsy yes. has competition because Elizabeth just said lavender ice and creme brulee. Thank you, Elizabeth. Ooh. You're a pro, girl. You're a pro. Nice. Thank you very much for participating in this, uh, in this game with me. Um, I love creating formula. That's the fun part about being a hairstylist slash colorist. It's we need to try. We need to see what's out there. And MarloBeauty.com offers you all different of, you know, professional products. And all this, what we spoke today, it's here on the website. You can get it. You can buy it. You can try. Get all the colors. Try them all with your clients. They're going to love it. So I dare you to try them and let me know. Comment anything that you need to know and need to say about the products. Um... I'm gonna wrap it up again. I used um, the powder liner um, to create this beautiful look with 20 volume. She waited about an hour, mm -hmm. lifting the color. We washed, then we apply lavender eye, and lavender eyes and um, creme brulee to create the toning. Look at that. Oh, she feels so sexy. I love that. Yeah. That's like the best <laughs> feeling ever, ever. And then when she tells you, this is exactly what I wanted. Yes, yes. right? Yes. Perfecto. <laughs> Perfecto, right? Hey, we didn't get any Spanish question. What's going on there? Where are all the Latinos and Latinas? Donde están nuestros Latinos? Yes. All right. It's okay. You guys keep watching this video. It's going to be posted on this Facebook page. Um, you can follow Marlo Beauty on Instagram, which is at Marlo Beauty. Super simple, super simple. At Marlo Beauty on Instagram. Watch all the videos, um, post, like them, comment. This is the only way we can get in touch and we can get together, you know, to be a better professional. You need to comment, you need to ask, you need to be on top of the trends. So Marlo Beauty gives you that. I actually, um, today, I love something about what I saw on their website. There is um, an, a, a little um, space dedicated only for professional, and it's called Pro to Pro. Mm -hmm. There is a little area that you can click in there and watch videos and watch updates and watch everything that Marlo Beauty offers you as a professional. So thank you very much to, for turning in and, and join us and, you know, be with us this half an hour. I'll send you lots of kisses. God bless you. And thank you very much for following Marlo Beauty on IG and follow me on my Instagram, 
Gabriel Samra. Mwah!